Now let's proceed. Now what we are going to do next is to normalize the VCF file I have here. It's a recommended practice to normalize and get our VCF line splitted so that each line contains information for just one variant. All right, so we are going to use BCF to do this. We will do this in two steps. So I'll start with the first step. So I'll say BCF tools. I'll say norm. I'll say dash M dash both. And I'll say dash O. That'll be the output file. So that'll be snips. And that's called agy99 dot norm dot step one dot BCF. So there's the output. Remember I said we are going to do this in two steps. So there's step one. Now I have to specify the inputs, all right? So the inputs, that will be data slash snips underscore agy99.vcf.gz, all right? So this is going to be the final command. Now you notice that here, I did not specify the output directory as data, all right? Because I want to separate the original files from what we are going to generate. So let's proceed. So let's execute this command. Perfect. So we have done that. So if some lines were split, then you find that's here. So here it says total split realign skipped. So total is this, and then this one's zero zero zero. That means that split realign skipped. There was nothing. Okay. So if you are using your own data set, then it's likely you may see some numbers here as well. All right. Now let's look at the second step. So we will still run BCF tools norm. So I'll say BCF tools norm. And this time I'll say dash F. And I'll specify the reference sequence. So that'll be data slash ady99.fast A. And then I'll specify the output. So that'll be dash O. And I'll say snips and that's called ady99.norm dot step two dot vcf right so that's step two this file is what we are going to use for the downstream analysis all right you can also rename it so that's fine maybe you know want to say agy99 dot normalize that's also fine so i think we should even use this name rather so this is going to be the output name all right the final name because this is the second step which is the last step for the normalization process so we now have our normalized vcf okay now let's do this let's specify the input so the input is going to be the outputs that we generated from step one so that means it's going to be this file here all right so this is going to be the input so i'll have to specify so i say snips underscore agy99 dot norm dot step one dot vcf all right so now let's execute this command Okay, so we have done that as well. So if you do an LS, we are going to find two BCF files. All right, so there's a step one, there's a step two. So step two, we said normalize the BCF because that's the final step for the normalization steps. All right, so this file is what we are going to use for the next activity. Okay, now let's proceed. So now we have done normalization, we have our output file, so it's now time for the variance effect prediction.